Okay, now we can talk about uh, material and uh, also I want to show you how to um, create the render, um, how to create the setting for uh, uh, this sheen. This sheen is uh, how to create the light setting, okay? Um, lighting uh, is a very particular phase where you can uh, also use more artistic uh, um, skill for for example for give a, a various different effects however here i have a machine with a very uh, basic geometry here geometry shader also inside udini there is a, some uh, test geometry test geometry it's with uh, pgr rubber toy shader ball squab tommy and uh, the crow uh, for crow simulation okay you can use, uh, for example, something like, for example, Tommy, it's uh, this man you can find here, okay, this guy, and the pig head we see before, it's uh, the head of the pig, etc, etc. You can also have here the shader ball, the shader ball is uh, uh, just uh, the geometry and just setting also with, uh, you can see in the information also we have the group with more information for use that for example for assign different material also we see that in this, uh, this series and i scale a little bit also have the switch because also maybe i need to use the pig add for see that and also I have here my render test and here i have my background my background it's the grid I take this grid, I transform this grid, I uh, create the extrude and after the poly bevel for create that and I have this is my last setting here, it's my last part with uh, this uh, kind of background, this very photographic background you can use it. If you want to make sure you can also extrude a little bit because sometimes when you work with the light, maybe you need uh, to have the solid can uh, extrude that very fast. So we can take the edge, edge loop, all extrude, and you can extrude say points normal. You can extrude opposite by minus one, it's okay. And then if you want, you can close that very fast with the poly. With the poly bridge. This is a good background now. Okay, with uh, very fast to, to do that. And also little, uh, okay. Okay, now I can apply one material for my geometry here, another material for my geometry here. But before I need also here, I have one camera, is camera one, I can call cam render 001. Is uh, more important is to uh, create now the basic material for understand lighting, and then we can uh, um, start to set in the light. For understand lighting, uh, I can use, for example, our principal shader. And principal shader, we have principal shader, principal shader core. What is the difference? The difference is uh, here we have a lot of uh, input because this is work like the, the VOP, you, have, you can import more element and mix together. And here I have more input, I can use that here for build my shader, and here is very complex, but you can find inside, I have the same, I have the same voice here, but also I have here, is, here is open, here is close. Another difference is this icon. This icon I have here is the cache for material. When you render, uh, Udini is take some uh, element and then put in the cache, in temporary cache, 
and when you render for example the principal shader you don't edit it and uh, you don't uh, make any changes and when you render the second time maybe you change only the light Houdini take the information of about this principal shader is not changes and change only the information of light if you don't have this kind of icon here every time it is uh, calculate calculate and is uh, maybe you you lost a few memory you lost a few time for it but it's not more important now because it's very fast to use that here also because you see here we, we have a different kind of order and here is more order is very fast to use it we can use the principal shader and not principal shader core there is also another for example pyro we have a pyro and pyro shader core there is more shader core inside houdini for use that for building your system but usually you don't create more system more complicated for uh, use this element anyway here I can apply, for example, the base gray material in the middle, 0 0.5, it's okay for understand lighting. And this is I call, for example, uh, gray material or study light, gray material, material light. And this is good for understand lighting. Okay, we can also apply here and apply here is very fast to apply. Okay, now if I uh, come back in my uh, viewport, I can create here light. So I come back, for example, here and need to start to create. Also, we can check if you take, take light and take light. Uh, I start to create the light and the light i start with the um, um, i can use uh, for example i don't remember maybe area light but area light uh, it's a change it's uh, the light is normal light grid light okay I want to use this uh, kind of light for create my render because I want to create uh, uh, two panel, uh, really three panels, maybe two or three, two panels, maybe two panels here and here with two different color for create uh, my system. More important in this case, sometimes when we work with uh, the light is not more important uh, but Houdini, it's uh, for some reason, for some items, is work very fast, very good. Uh, the important is the dimension. I have the sites here. Sometimes in some software, when you start to, for example, create a light, you can scale it. And if you scale with the handle, sometimes it's not working very well because you want, you go to destroy the matrix transformation. You can't reset it. When you work, for example, when you change the scale of your object, sometimes you change the scale, but you change also the information about the matrix transformation and the properties of it. And sometimes very fast and it's very good is work with uh, the sites like uh, one, one, two, two, three, three is working from here and not working with the transformation tools uh, in the viewport because uh, in transformation view in the viewport, this is another software, you change the dimension here, but don't change this dimension here. So in this case, we can go to create uh, our dimension, for example, three and five or seven, I prefer seven, okay. And here now I can move it that here like this. And you can see also the duration of your light. You can use a single light, single side for your lighting. And what's, uh, it's, uh, what is happening? Now we can go to see the render. So we can go create our first out mantra. And in mantra, I here, I associate my camera. My camera is not camera one. So I need to associate and connect my camera render with one. 
because I can have more camera. And I can um, come here. Okay, I go out, keep this, and I want to put this here. Uh, so we can see what's happened and start to render. Okay, we don't see nothing very well, so we can stop at this render and I can, for example, pan for see what's happened. Um, also, I can move it that if you in that direction, okay. And I can come here, render, and render again. If you just click one time, it's uh, take the full last node or the node is selected. See, the area light is working is uh, the light only on uh, one side, on that side, opposite side, and not on this. So you can also say, hey, I want it to work uh, in uh, all direction so you can say single sided it's uh, emission in sh more sided so you can sharp the light so some uh, light is uh, very normal you can also uh, have uh, some effects of uh, sharpen some blur and also you can render light geometry render light geometry you see this panel in render and also is very comfortable when you want to create uh, some effects for create for example some visible effects on your reflection because uh, maybe you don't see the visible effect when you render what i mean we can start the render our geometry here and we see now is render in all part and it's very comfortable because in the reflection now the material have a little refraction but here you see for example the effects uh, of my reflection here you see my real geometry here okay without maybe you don't see more clear here the shape you see the shape but it's not more clear in this case I have this plane and I want to put this plane in opposite so we can go here and I can come and put here also I can keep for example the the shadow but uh, in this case this uh, light is the light for create uh, only the color and the illumination for fill our our sheen usually there is uh, three lights this kind of three lights there is uh, the key light the rim light and the direct light the direct light is create the shadow and the other light may not create the shadow but help to create uh, the rim and uh, the key light, the, the another effects for create, for example, our uh, illumination. Here, I want to put this element here, this area light here. I want to create the copy, and I want to move it in opposite direction. And I want to also rotate, and you can also rotate for make sure. But I want to give the different color, for example, for the, from this light and this light. And I don't want to create the shadow. So from the shadow, I can say no shadow. So it's not create a shadow. And now I can start to see what's happen if I go in camera render with this true light. It's the same value here. Okay, same value here, same color, and this is the, the light. So now if I start the render, 